Welcome to this video news release uh, from Recognition PR. Broadcasters, uh, print media and other platforms are free to use the content copyright free provided it's set in an appropriate context. Jonathan Lamb is the CEO of the Entrepreneurs Forum. Based in the Northeast, it looks after well over 300 entrepreneurial businesses, people like me. I'm a member of the board, so I have a vested interest here. Uh, and we own our businesses, we employ people, and uh, we are active in the economy. Jonathan, welcome to the video. So, uh, first of all, um, I wanted to ask you about the initiative and the uh, open letter that the Entrepreneurs Forum has written to businesses around the north of England. It's been ventilated in the media. Yeah, um, I mean, we have been speaking, as you can imagine, to hundreds of members over the last couple of weeks about the pressing issues uh, for them in the current crisis. And a consistent theme that came up was their relationships in the supply chain, particularly the, uh, the payment terms and the way in which uh, clients were um, adopting certain practices re more recently uh, to extend terms. And um, we were asked by members really to sort of voice that, that what we wanted at this moment in time was, was a more considered and a, and a sort of more responsible view. Um, and that because entrepreneurs are agile and they do look for flexible flexibility to to tackle situations they were wanting that to be reflected um, more broadly in the economy so that we we try to act um yes we've got to take care of short-term business interests but not under undermine these long-term partnerships that our entrepreneur members and the wider business community have taken years to build up and what we don't want to happen in the next few months is for that to be fundamentally jeopardized your supplier network is uh, important to all businesses because it, it is about your reputation as well. People of, often think to themselves, well, I'll just phone up and cut that or I'll leave that bill uh, languishing in, uh, in a tray somewhere. But um, meanwhile, your suppliers um, may be getting agitated, irritated, angry. It may be having a very big impact on them. And your reputation is there as much as it is with your clients. And sometimes people forget that, don't they? They're doing it and it takes an awful long time to build trust in a relationship, doesn't it? And some of the um, short term decisions that will be made um, over the next few months and that have already been made in the last few weeks can undermine that in a very short period of time. And what you want is a long term business partnership, don't you? Th through thick and thin. And um, there are examples of, of our members working with their, their supply chain. Uh, supply chain for the long-term interest but we've picked up that there is some concern that that's not enough and what should see us through is that sort of spirit of collaboration Marie we're really good at that in the north of England and particularly in the northeast we're just trying to make the point um, James Robson the chair and I that we just want that to be something that's just sort of widespread in the top of people's minds rather than the bottom of it. In business we've all heard that phrase uh, turnover is vanity, profit is sanity, but cash is king. And if you are a business that has a big supplier list, the temptation to keep the cash in your bank is huge. Um, speaking from my own experience, I have tried to pay, and I believe I have paid, and certainly in, it's the end of the month, next month, next week rather, the, all my suppliers. Um, if there was a difficulty paying a supplier, I would phone first and I would make sure I agreed new terms or maybe part payments or something like that if there was a difficulty. Is that the kind of approach that you're asking your members to adopt? Yes, I am. Um, I mean, I, and some of the members already do that. I mean, bearing in mind, Graham, as, as you know, we've got some very experienced entrepreneurs members who haven't been through this particular cause of a crisis but certainly have been through some difficult times before and they would say exactly what you have which is speak to your suppliers talk about you know changing the terms renegotiating the terms maybe exchanging time and expertise that you've got for the uh, for the payment um, this has happened in the, in the past and there are ways and means of doing that and that's one of the good things about being part of a, an entrepreneurs forum network is you can lean on that advice in times like this but to come back to the point of this the point is that 
that you, what you want is, a, is an ongoing business past the crisis that continues those really long-term supply relationships. That's the important thing. And that together you get through this and then you grow the business in the, uh, in the medium and longer term, don't you? The government's uh, support um, has been coming quite thick and fast. Now, I've done a lot of calls, I'm sure you have as well, where people are worried about the mechanism for getting the support. But nevertheless, um, do you feel that the government's support will be adequate to keep everything liquid and to keep that supply chain going? Um, the short answer is yes. However, based upon the individual circumstances of the businesses, it, the time period and the volume of support does, does change. There are some questions about the, uh, the detail of the mechanism and the timing. And I think that we have to, um, we have to understand that when, when a national government policy is, is enacted, uh, much as the national government would like things to happen tomorrow, based upon the decision that was made yesterday, there is inevitably going to be some sort of time lag. But the feedback generally that I'm getting is that it is welcome, um, that it would, entrepreneurs would like it to be a little bit quicker, but I suppose wouldn't everybody. Um, but there is, a, there is an understanding that, um, after all, this is um, taxpayers' money, Graham. And what we don't want to do is make, um, make uh, an introduction to the, to the business community, which uh, we then regret in the longer term because it wasn't directed in the right way and it wasn't used in the right way. So yeah, broadly welcome. But the two, the two things that have come up is just in terms of the time scale and, and the need just to get the detail about the criteria out a little bit more quickly. Um, so those are the two points, but broadly speaking, welcome. Okay. Well, look, uh, your line is crackling up a bit. We've had several on the uh, interviews this week. Uh, uh, the other thing I just wanted to plug as a board member of the Entrepreneurs Forum and mind people that if they are members of the forum, there are mentorship programs that you've got. You've got a very good uh, group of entrepreneurs who are more experienced than some of the newer ones. And equally, we all need a bit of support. And if you want some private mentorship, I'm sure that you can arrange that. Yeah, you can speak to uh, mentors one-to-one -one about the particular circumstances in the business. And you can also talk to people through uh, video conferencing around a number of different subject matters. I mean, the last couple of weeks, it has been about managing cash and about people. But that will move on as uh, the circumstances move on. So, yeah, both in one-to-one -one or in a video conference environment, there's a lot of experience there to help. And I know if you're a member of the forum, you'll be getting... Uh information on that on email i've received uh, as a member of the information and, and i just say for people watching this who are not members it may seem a bit odd to go and join a new organization now in this crisis but actually it's a rational thing to do yeah, absolutely graham thank you jonathan speak soon stay well thanks graham